Hey guys, it's Hades here and welcome back to another video. This is the top three for creative competition week two. And of course the topic for week two was PvP arenas. So I've got tons of them to show you today. But I thought I'd start off with this nice little Japanese temple right here that Hell's Crescent built. The winner of week one creative competition. We got him down here. So a massive shout out to him. And a great job on his Japanese temple. If that is even what it is meant to be. I'm sure he'll post in the comments and tell everyone if it's meant to be something else. Everyone was hanging around here just looking, because he actually made some fireworks. He's got a bunch of beacons set up through there, and he's got a bunch of fireworks with dispensers set up through there, and a minecart that goes past and activates them all. It looks pretty cool. And he also built something else that I wanted to check out. I might have already seen it, but I'm going to look up in a second. And I guess this was inspired by Goldie's video, my girlfriend. She said she wanted an Eiffel Tower because she loved Eiffel Towers. So look what Hell's Crescent went and built. The Eiffel Tower. And to be honest, it is amazing. And that, that was probably going to be a future topic for the Hadescraft Creative series. But I'm not going to bother anymore because Hell's Crescent has already topped it off and done an amazing one. So it's not going to be the topic anymore for any future ones. It wasn't going to be next week's topic anyway, but I'm just saying, look at this. It looks great. So hopefully Goldie appreciate it, appreciates it and posts in the comments saying thank you, because it looks pretty good if you ask me. It's actually, it's actually really good. But anyway, let's get straight into it so we can see these PvP spawns. We've got tons to cover. What is the coordinates to the first one? Let's go. Negative 800. TP. This is the first one right here. And I actually liked this one. It had a... It's a bit of a different idea. He had some signs up there. I'm not going to go read them. I read them off camera. He basically wanted... Um, I just want to show you the top sign so you can see what he was planning. He wanted to capture all the control points and hold them. So it's a bit of a different game type. And the map was kind of designed around that. It's a, It's got some good design features though. Like in here I really like... Yeah, just, it, it's totally different to everything else. It's just a totally different room, and you're just like, what? Beware of bottleneck up ahead. Consider going on top of the mountain instead. That rhymed, but I did not read that out thinking it would rhyme. <laughs> and he's got this bit, which is on top of a dragon. It's hold I'm not exactly sure what the ice is for, though, or why the dragon is holding this ice. It would make sense if this was a whole ice platform, like a lake, and the dragon was melting the lake, but it's not really, it doesn't really come across as that, so I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it does look nice. And you can drop down here as well, and there's a whole new area. Yep, there, and there's where the control points are going to be, so this is pretty good. Well, I think that's pretty much it for this spawn, straight on to the next one. Actually, look at that. There's a little sword, and then it says, Hades PvP. Very nice job on this, so a massive shout out to this guy. Let's type plot me info to get him the credit he deserves. Speed Freak. So here's the first one. Now let's TP to the next build. Negative 460, 80. Um, what am I looking at here? 680. There we go. Bam! The magic. And here's another really good... I guess it is kind of an arena... But it wasn't the arena I was going for. So that's why you didn't win this one, buddy. But it looks really nice and I'd keep entering the competition. Because you've got some good skills here. And I guess it does kind it does fit the requirements. It could have possibly won. The only thing was is it is a bit it's a bit like out there. It doesn't really have any obstacles. And it's really plain. Like when you spawn there, they'd likely just run straight out and just have a mosh pit in the middle. So it wasn't really designed for PvP, I guess. But it does look like a wonderful arena, and it's really good. Anyway, let's give this guy some credit. Plot me info. There we go. Otto Jeff. And TP to the next spawn. Negative 100. I wonder if anyone's like, yes, he's typing my coordinates out. And then I'd miss it by like 100, and you're like, oh, damn it. <laughs> Here's another nice spawn. My criticism for this one, as I said guys, I always give criticism, but it doesn't mean that they're bad, they're all good, and they're really good effort, and I really appreciate you guys entering, it means a lot to be able to log on the server, 
and check out some new things that have been built. It's actually really nice to have a series like this. I enjoy it more than all the other series because I get to look at amazing builds all day. This one had a great cave system. I won't go down there just because it'll take a while. And the things I didn't like about it is it's just too plain out in the open here. It's just it's just trees and grass. Like it might have been good to put some little towers or maybe obstacles or jumping puzzles. Just something to mix it up a bit because it looked a bit plain out there in the open. So that'll be the suggestions for future ones. Let's give this guy some credit. There we go. And TP to the next one. Oh, this one's really small coordinates. I'm not I'm not sure if I double checked this one to see if it was what it was, but let's TP to it. Here we go. Oh yeah, this one I remember. So this one looks really nice. He did take that odd suggestion I said and have different biomes, but it's just not I couldn't see PvP working on it. Like it looks nice, but what would you do? Seriously, where if you spawned somewhere, there was spawn points, but I just couldn't see the PvP actually being that exciting. Because people could just run up trees and hide the whole time. It's kind of a bit... That's the only thing I didn't like about it. Nice design, but I can't see people actually playing it in a PvP battle. It just wouldn't make much sense to me. So that's why this one didn't get further in the competition. We'll give this guy a shout out. There we go. So all of those guys were involved in building this. Let's TP to the next one. 5, 20, 80, negative 730. Alright. What have we got here? Oh, this one. I thought this one was looking promising when he first started off. But then he put lava everywhere. And lava is a massive no-no when you're doing any type of building. You can only put tiny amounts of lava. Like, lava pools like that are fine. As soon as you start making lava walls, people with bad computers will just start lagging. I'm not really lagging here, but the point of it is, is it just blinds you if you're looking into it. It doesn't look really that good. I wouldn't suggest using lava in any builds, really, unless you wanted people to die in lava pits and things. So that's what, that's the constructive criticism for this build, I guess. Let's, let's do plot me info, and that's TP to another one. What are we looking at here? Negative 1597 What is it? I can't I got a massive list of coordinates left next to me that I prepared earlier. After looking through all of them I picked like the top ten or some ten that I had some good feedback for and I made a list of them. It might not have been the best ten, but they were ten that I had some good feedback for and wanted to show off. So here's another one. That I really liked. The design skills was really good. Like it looks it looks nice. And the spawn areas look nice. And they put some good effort into the signs. Which they didn't need to do. I didn't actually say that. But it's a good adjustment. So it was definitely worth putting it in. It gave you advantage over everyone else. Did Hell's Crescent help with this? I'm not sure if he helped. Because my name's on there as well. He might have just been an inspiration. Don't kill your teammates. Well hopefully not. Map made by those two guys right there. And I really liked it. Like, it would have been good to have one area like this in the middle, kind of, and then had the arena bigger. As you can see, he kind of ran out of room and designed the outsides to look good as well. And I wasn't really going for that. I just wanted the insides to look good. Because if you spawned into a PvP arena, you wouldn't be able to see the outsides. So that's why I wanted you to focus on the insides. And things like this in PvP arenas you can't actually get to. So it's kind of for looks only. And I understand that and that makes it alright. But that's that's the reason why I didn't make it further in the competition. That's just the constructive criticism. For a design build, this would have been really good. But for that particular topic, PvP arena, it just didn't make much sense. Because it's, it's kind of crowded with good designs. Anyway... On to the next one we go. Got another... Oh, the music's playing in the background. As you see, guys, on my previous single-player world, I said, do you like the music? You guys said yes. So, here we go. We got music. Hope you enjoy it. I'm just going to be quiet now. Do, 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 do. I couldn't be quiet, guys. Here's the next PvP arena. This one was actually pretty nice. 
I did like the... I'll show you what I liked in a second after I can get up this hole here. Oh, dragon eggs everywhere. That must... That wasn't here last time I came. Thanks for the... Junior... Thanks for help to that guy, that guy in Hell's Crescent. How much did Hell's Crescent help with? What has he been doing? He's been building everything on this server. He's a madman, it's crazy. Anyway, so you jump down here. And the only thing I didn't really like about this one is there was no focus. Like, there was a bunch of rooms, but even if it was a free-for-all PvP arena, there's no really focus where we could make people spawn to make it fair. It's kind of a bit everywhere, but it did have some nice little features, like the nether down there. Let's go and check it out, because he did put some effort into filling this whole area with a nether brick. Look at it. So I did really like this idea of having a nether down here. It was a pretty amazing idea, but yeah, it would have been good to add to an actual, a different arena. Oh, look, we're down in his cave system now. So I'm just going to TP out of here, but it was a really good job. Let's give him some credit, plot me info. There you go. And we'll TP on to the next one. Negative 620, 80, negative 1520. That should take us there. What is this one? Oh yeah, this one. I thought this was, this was nice. It had a good idea. I liked one spawn here, one spawn there. This was one of the only arenas that actually had a fair fighting ground and two teams. So that's what I liked about it. So, that was one good thing about this. But the bad thing was, the obstacles in between weren't really at the same standard as what the other arenas were. So that's why I didn't get further. And over here, I actually... This one, we'll have a quick look at it. It's just a PvP maze, so... It's not really what I was looking for, but it's a good job. It's a good effort, definitely. What is this stuff over here? This wasn't entered in the competition, so I didn't actually check it out. It looks like Dora the Explorer and some girl. Oh, look at that. Look at that sexy beast. A bunch of spammed letters. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Let's, let's keep a move on this episode. It's gone for a while. I really want to get to as many as possible though, because I know a lot of you guys are into this because you want me to showcase your builds on YouTube, so I'm trying to get to as many as I can, so please just hang in there. This was another one that actually was really good and nearly got in the top three, but this one was lacking focus as well, focus of the actual arena, this one had fireworks in here somewhere that you could activate, but... Alright, up, up, up. there we go, something happening, there's the fireworks. So I really liked it, it was really good. We'll give this guy a shout out, plot me info. There we go. And he has a really good design, so I hope he enters future competitions. Because this actually had a good arena. Like there's bits of lava that you could fall in, so you had to dodge. It had the stand stadium around the side, and it had some good features, but... As I said, the thing it was lacking was just focus of where people are actually going to be, like, actually fighting. Hades logo art around the corner. Let's check this out. Hades. That looks pretty beast, that A. I haven't seen an A like that before. That looks really nice, so the owner of this plot plays into future competitions. You were nearly there. This was so close to being in the top three, so congratulations, but... I really want you to enter future builds, pretty much, because I know you have a lot of potential. And hopefully I can give you some good criticism. I didn't have much for this one, except maybe making it a bit more symmetrical for a PvP arena. But future topics might not need to be symmetrical, so, you know, not much I can give you. You were actually really good, so good effort. Next one, here we go. This one? This one was really good as well, I really liked this one. But, the thing I didn't like about it, is people probably won't be able to climb up here. Like, when you're actually fighting, just say everyone spawns down the bottom, is what I'd recommend for this type of arena, because then they can go up or down. But, it's kind of lacking focus. It's a really good design, and I really like it, except the focus again. Like, I kind of, I probably should have explained this in the video, when people were building it a bit more. I wanted it to be usable, like, so actually, pe 
either teams or free-for-all. Actually, this would be a really good free-for-all map with people spawning randomly everywhere. So that's what makes it good. But for teams, this wouldn't work. But it doesn't matter. I did say free-for-all or teams. So this one was a really good design. So a massive thank you to whoever entered this. Let's give him some credit. Robin14BMX. So he actually made one that nearly made it into the top three last week. So he's nearly made it into the top three twice now. Oh, I didn't actually know it was him. So a tiny bit unlucky on that front, but keep it up. Like, seriously, I really appreciate everyone entering and putting in so much effort. This one was so close to making it yet again. I feel sorry for him now. I didn't know that. Oh, no. We've only got one more before we get on to the winners. So hold to, on to your horses. This is the next one. Where are we? Here we are. This arena right here. I thought I really liked the swords, pretty much. The sword jammed into the top. And the swords down here. That's what I really liked about it. And how they had different colour swords for each team. But. I don't think they finished their arena in time. I think they're still working on it right now. I think Trilogy is actually working on it as we speak. Him and his friend. Right there. Rico. So they're both actually working on it right now. So that's why I feel bad about this, but their spawn was pretty good, and it just didn't make it in. I kind of just guessed what their potential would be and what they would do when they finish it. But this, I did end up giving you guys seven days to complete these PvP arenas. In the first, oh, the original time frame is five to seven days, depending on if I need to leave it open for those extra two days. And I did leave it open for the extra two days so these guys could finish. But they didn't qu quite get there. So they just missed out. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next week on the next week's topic. Because I have a feeling they'll have a good chance of winning. Because their design features here are actually really good. I like the quartz and obsidian look. So I guess that's it. Now we're on to the winners, guys. Anyone excited? Anyone know who it could possibly be? We will soon see. I'm now going to build number one. I'm going doing it the opposite this week. This is build number one. It doesn't mean it's my favourite, but it does mean if you want to vote for it, you need to type build one into the comments, guys. Make sure to type build one if you like this spawn. Let's go. I forgot to type my name. Blue Hades, remember to type your name. There we go. So... Here it is, it's Kemtar's build, and I want to get to a good spot, out of order, I don't know what that is yet, but here is his PvP arena, guys. What I liked about this one, here's my feedback for build number one, don't forget it, build number one, if you want to vote for this one, in the description, right, build one, okay, I've got that out of the way. Now, what I liked about this one was how it was symmetrical, so, oh, a tiny bit of lag, so this team would have a fair fight, it's not exactly symmetrical, but this team would have a fair chance of fighting this team. So this would be a good capture the flag map, I was thinking. He's actually got the spawn room up here, so we'll go check that out real quick. In here, that's where blue team spawns, and he actually had his own idea for different kits and things, which is good. And then you drop down there and you go through the little holes, where is it? Where was it? Just right-click the sign, okay? He said right-click the sign. There's no little holes. But you get the point here. There's two spawns. And I would actually... What I'm thinking for this one is definitely capture the flag or team death match. It would not work for free-for-all at all. Let's have a quick look. It's like two buildings. A nice ramp in the middle joining the buildings up. A ramp. An opening at the bottom build, joining the buildings up. And also a joining room. Where was it? On the sides here. So we'll go in here. I don't know why I'm lagging here. What? What is happening? He even put spawn points down. The little blue box represents spawn points. So that's fairly good. He set them all up for each of the teams. They randomly spawn throughout their building. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about this one. My only suggestions for fixing it would be make it a lot more simple. The only hard thing about big buildings like this is there's too many floors. And while going up the ladder system, you just get confused on what floor you're on. So in direct PvP, it's not really that good. It kind of... It allows a lot of people to hide in random spots. 
and a lot of people to just spend a lot of time walking and not as much time fighting. So that is what I didn't like about this one, is that it would take too much time to move throughout the floors and find people. That's what I didn't like about it. But what I did like about it is that it's good for capture the flag, it's got a good design, it's got some good elements, and it's got lots of entry points to the building, so it's not bottlenecked in any way. Anyway, don't forget to vote. Right, build one in the comments if you like this one. And let's go on to build number two. Negative 1500... 90... 1... 1450. you kidding me? Oh, I put a little random thing there. There we go. So, this uh, before I look at it, I want to explain something. This is build number two, so if you like it, write build two in the comments. In, this, in the comments of this video. And here it is. Now you may be thinking, this doesn't look quite as good as the other ones. And I 100% agree with you. It's even missing some blocks up here. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, is it? No, it's definitely missing some blocks up there. But the point is that this one had a great idea. I liked the idea of it. It was four teams. And it was perfectly symmetrical. And it's something I could actually see myself playing. If I put this on the PvP spot, um, server and made it so you click a sign and you're ready up in your teams and then you get teleported to each of these spawns and when you spawn in you run out and you jump down here and they'll put some special chest in the middle so right here in the middle I'd put like four chests he didn't actually suggest this idea but I kind of thought of it for him you'd put four chests here and then that would be like the power weapons so there'd be like bows in here one in each of these four chests would be a bow. So, when all the teams spawned down, they'd have to rush to the middle for the power weapons. There'd be a big fight there. You'd send guys to flank them from behind, going down the bottom, running through here. You'd send some more guys after they get the bow to get the high ground up here. And I reckon it'd be an, a really good fight. That is what I liked about this, in a, this arena. It's actually really good. Like, it's really practical. And I can see people actually enjoying playing on it. All the other ones I saw before this, they weren't really practical. They did look better. Like, I will agree this is definitely not the best looking spawn. But if I did some touch-ups to this middle thing, maybe put a little ice ball in there, change the colours up a bit. If down here in the corridors we needed it up a bit, we put some design elements in the, in the walls and then did something in the middle here. And if we came up here... Then we just touched everything up a bit. That's what I'm saying with this one, guys. I want you guys to definitely give this one a chance. Okay, so... It is... If this one was made out of the same quality design as Kemtars or any of the other guys who did really good designs builds, I would actually suggest this one to be the best PvP arena. Just because of its practicalness and how how good and how much fun I could actually see myself playing on this. But, you also got to take into account, it was not designed as good as the other ones. It does not look as good. There is little bits that aren't finished. And, to be honest, I think you should really take that into account and think about it. I'd really like you guys to vote for this one, though. If you, if you think it deserves to win. I kind of let it into the top three on the... <laughs> On my own designs, in my head, picturing how good it could be with the chests in the middle and that type of game type. I could see it working perfectly, and I can see it being a lot of fun. So that's why it did make it into the top three. And don't forget to vote for it, build number two, post it in the comments if you like it. But now, we're going on to build number three. That is build number two, Camtars was build number one, now we're on build number three. It is right here. And, no surprise again, let's type plot me info. It is Hell Crescents. He has done it again and built an amazing spawn. I actually forgot to give this guy credit, so let's quickly go over here. Type plot me info. Smeardzakiobite. I'm not sure how to say that, but a big shout out to him. It's a really good job, so... I'm really hoping some people do vote for that one. But anyway... Let's get on to this one, Hell's Crescent's build. He's made his for for looks on the outside and on the inside. So he, he did the best of both worlds. What his idea was, is you would 
put this in a normal world, like my PvP arena, or whatever, teleport here, it doesn't really matter, and you'd walk through here and you'd kind of pick a team, or be assigned into a team, we could put a wall in the middle and be assigned to a team, or we could just pick a team, so whatever, you pick blue team, he's put all the rules here and the different armors and kits, and you can look around, it looks really nice, I'm really, I'm really liking this already, and you haven't even seen the arena yet, once you, once you pick a team, and you pick your kit, you now fall down into this bit, which is the actual PvP arena. This is meant to be lit up. That's just a little bug, guys. I'll ignore that. This is the PvP arena here. Oh, I didn't even know that did that. Oh, I did know it did that, actually. So, once you drop down, you didn't have to land here. There was other drop-down points. Like, you could have dropped down to land here, and then you would have been on the second floor. And if you do decide to drop down to the bottom, you kind of get faced with direct PvP. So you could charge out here and go to fight them, and then this team slams the door in your face and kills you. They're like, nah, unlucky, we're just gonna wait here until you die. And you can open it back up, run into the middle, have a big fight. There's tons of different layers. It's l also he coloured the, the side, so you know which side you're on, to make it less confusing. The only tips I would have for... I'll do a little fly around first. But the only tips I would have for this spawn is it is a tiny bit too confusing. It is... It's not really, like... This is definitely my favourite spawn out of all of them. Build number three. If you agree with me, make sure to post it in the comments, writing build three to give this guy the win. And he also made it void down there, so when you fall, you would die. And he even did design as you're falling, so... He really went over the top with design here. It is an amazing job. But the only suggestions that I... Well, as I said, the only thing I didn't like it is the confusingness of this bit. Like, just say a team did spawn and fall down here. And... Oh, can you get back? Oh, he can... He thought of everything! I did not see that! Alright. Well, my only complaint about his spawn, he just counteracted with that. What I was going to say is you could close this and camp down here. But, I guess he's too good for me. He did something that I didn't even see when I first checked this out. And you can shut that door and then go ahead and jump up here to go fight them. So, I've got nothing bad to say about it. He's, he's pulled it off again. Hell's Crescent has pulled it off again and done something amazing. Oh, well, well, that's all I have to say. Type build 3 into the comments if you agree with me guys and you like this spawn the best. Of course, he has already won a prize last week. So that means the best prize will be given to build number 2. So whichever build comes second will get the prize this week. So don't worry about it guys. The prizes do get distributed so you can say he won. Even if you want someone else to get the prize, they still will get the prize for getting, for getting second. So don't worry about that. I've thought ahead, and I know Hell's Crescent makes some really good builds, so they're really hard to, to beat. But we will be doing... Actually, I should probably announce this now. I will be doing noob build competitions in the future. So, of course, there will be the pros. So this series, that Hell, if Hell's Crescent wins, he'll keep racking up some wins on the telly board at spawn. And then I will also be putting up all the runners up eventually. So that'll be good. So even if you don't win, you can still get a prize, you still get a shout out on my channel, you still get your build featured, and you still get all my suggestions to help you improve. So it's definitely worth entering, even if you don't win, guys. It's really amazing. And I guess that's pretty much it for today, guys. I guess you should all really take notes of some of the ideas that Hell's Crescent has done. You can really learn from this. I think I'll try and put it in some key points for you. If anyone else wants to build a PvP arena, you got to make it easy to understand and navigate, which he did by using plain type of blocks. So, an easy, no bottlenecks. If you don't want to go through there, you can go around the side, go underneath, go through the trapdoors. And of course he did multiple way ways out, so by the water, if they did block off that way. And he made multiple spawns for you to drop down into. And he easily labelled both sides with red and blue, so you can see which side you're on. And he did some amazing design features and lit it up well with these little lanterns hanging from the roof. I don't know what else to say, guys. It's amazing. 
and I hope you guys have a great day. I want to thank every every single one of you who entered this competition. A massive shout out to all of you, and thank you so much for putting in the time and building this, building your PvP arenas. And as always, guys, I'll see you later. Oh.